हेलो वेलकम टू होम स्कूल दिस इज योर क्लास टेन मैथमेटिक्स एनसीईआरटी और सीबीएसई बोर्ड वी आर इन अ फर्स्ट चैप्टर अरिथमेटिक प्रोग्रेशन एप्लीकेशन प्रॉब्लम्स एंड दिस इज योर प्रॉब्लम नंबर फोर द सम ऑफ द फर्स्ट थ्री टर्म्स ऑफ एन एपी इज थर्टी थ्री इफ द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द फर्स्ट टर्म एंड थर्ड टर्म एक्सीड्स द सेकेंड टर्म बाई ट्वेंटी नाइन देन फाइन द एपी problem seems to be lengthy but it is very simple in arithmetic progression they give you three terms four terms five terms make sure the terms should be proper if three terms given where you don't know any term some of the terms product of the terms if they have given you need to take a term such a way any one term will be eliminated when you add that means a minus d a a plus d you should take suppose if it is four terms a minus 3d you skip a minus 2d and take a minus 3d a minus d skip a in middle and take a plus d a plus 3d whatever the terms you take it should be in an order okay and we should check whether the terms you are taking is in arithmetic progression or not in such a way we need to take suppose if they give you five terms better go with a minus 2d a minus d a a plus d a plus 2d uh, soon we are going to do those type of problems also now let's do with the three terms let us start a solution by taking let let the three terms let the let the three terms be what are the three terms we are going to take a minus d a a plus d okay first term second term third term look here carefully first term second term third term and i read again the sum of first three terms of an ap is 33 write that line sum of sum of first three terms of an ap is 33 you take a term such that these should be in arithmetic progression yes a a plus d a plus 2d are all the general form of arithmetic progression now sum of these three terms is 33 write the terms a minus d plus a plus a plus d is equal to 33 minus d plus d will be cancel add these three a's a plus a plus a will be 3a is equal to 33 3 multiple transpose on the side 33 by 3 3 11s are therefore a is equal to 11 what is a don't say it as a first term now this a is second term okay i got a now next statement i am going to frame if the product of the first term and the third term what is the first term first term second term third term product of first and the third product means multiply so let us take here product product of product of the first term and third term exceeds exceeds means more exceeds the second term by how much by 29 product of the first term and third term a minus d into a plus d is equal to product of the first term and third term exceeds the second term by 29 product of this is equal to exceeding means more right exceeding which term second term what is the second term a 
exceeding the second term by how much? 29. Understand the statement carefully. Product of first term and third term. Product of first term and third term exceeds the second term by 29. Product of these two exceeding the second term by 29. In between these two you should put here equal to sign. Okay. Product of first and third term exceeding the second term by 29. Let's multiply these two. I can remember an identity. A plus B into A minus B. According to that, I may write it as A square minus T square is equal to A plus 29. How did I write this? Since A plus B into A minus B is equal to A square minus B square. Substitute A is equal to 11 in this. 11 whole square minus D square is equal to 11 plus 29. 11 11 sir, 121 minus D square is equal to 11 plus 29. That will be 40. 9 plus 1, 10. 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 1, 4. Okay. Now minus D square, send other side D square. 40, bring this side. 121 minus 40. 121 minus 40, it will be 81 is equal to D square. Remove the square, apply other side square root. D is equal to square root of 81. At the time you can interchange, no sign will be changed. Square root of 81, that is 81 can be written as 9 square, square and root will be cancelled. And don't forget to write D is equal to plus or minus 9. When you are applying square root, you will have two answers. One is plus 9 and another is minus 9. So therefore, D is equal to plus or minus 9. We got A value and we got D value. If we know A and D, we can find any term. But here find the AP means don't go with A, A plus D, A plus 2D like this. Don't want. Here you just substitute A and D value in the given three terms. Okay. D is having two values, right? So let me take here. If D is equal to plus 9. Two answers we need to show in this using D plus 9 and another one D is equal to minus 9. Okay. D is equal to plus 9. Therefore, the three terms, three terms of AP are A minus D, A, A plus D. Substitute the values here. A value is 11, 11 minus 9, 11, 11 plus 9. 11 minus 9, it will be 2, comma 11, comma 11 plus 9, it will be 20. Therefore, the3 terms of an AP are 2, 11, 20. Your problem is not completed. Still, you need to do 2 more lines. D is equal to minus 9. If D is equal to minus 9, therefore, the 3 terms are A minus D, A, A plus D. Now, substitute D value of minus 9 and A value is 11. 11 minus of minus 9 comma 11 comma 11 plus of minus 9 look here whenever you are substituting minus value you use a bracket here minus into minus plus 11 plus 9 comma 11 comma 11 minus 9 11 plus 9 will be 20 11 11 minus 9 will be 2 therefore the three terms of an ap are 2 11 20 or 20, 11, 2. And they asked here AP. We found out only three terms. What is an AP means? I have taken middle terms. Middle three terms I have taken. Therefore, the required AP are 2, 11, 20. So on. You may extend that side. Many terms might be there. This side. Many terms might be there. And make sure if you find three terms, it, its reverse order will be in another d value. So here we got 21120 and here we got 21112. 
So once again, let's have a recap of this problem. There are three terms and the three terms sum of an AP is 33. Let the three terms be A minus D, A, A plus D. And they have given the product of first and the third term is exceeding the second term by 29. So we have taken three terms. Sum of the terms is 33. 3A is equal to 33. A is equal to 11. And according to this statement, first term and third term product exceeding second term by 29. That is A plus 29. If we simplify this, we get D value plus or minus 9. If D equal to plus 9, we got the AP as 21120. And if D is equal to minus 9, we got 2112. So you can see here, you can put a dot 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 this side and this side. Only three terms means only these three. If AP asks, you have many terms. You can use dot 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 there. Thank you all. Thank you for watching. Keep watching. We are going to continue in the next problem.